Hi, my name is Chaim. This video is in response to anti-Chabadniks, people who go out of their way to, I don't know, to, to, to go and uh, put the word out there that, that anyone who, who goes to a Chabad is not Jewish, is evil, and is trying to destroy Judaism, and is part of idol worship, yada, yada, yada. This is the thing. <clears throat> I consider myself a Chabadnik. Okay, I don't consider myself an idol worshiper. Um, uh, I mean, my I, I don't believe that 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 the Rebbe, the, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, is the Mashiach. But uh, nevertheless, those who do believe that he is the Mashiach, um, they obviously have their reasons, um, even if I disagree with them. But nevertheless, I don't go out of my way, even if, even if someone was not Jewish, even if they were a Christian, okay? I might like to have discussions with them, but I don't go out of my way to, to insult them, to make them feel bad about themselves. This is wrong, okay? I do go out of my way to protect other people uh, from those who are hurt, from those who are being, you know, hurt, insulted, whatever. Um... But uh, I don't go out of my way to, to offend people like that. Um, back in the day when I was an atheist, um, I was totally against religion. And I would go out of my way thinking that, that the, I'm, you know, doing what's good. And in a sort of a way, I was kind of acting like the, like these uh, like these people who like to go out and, and uh, force their opinion on people. I was sort of like that. I mean, not to the same extent as some people that I've seen, but nevertheless, I did so. Um, and I've, the more and more uh, experiences I've had in life and, and tests and, and uh, epiphanies and stuff like that, the more and more I don't argue to, I don't argue to try to change someone else's view. The more I, I instead I argue now to kind of, change my point of view um, I think that's the best way and if someone else uh, learns something from you that's great but I think it really should I really think that that one should start with themselves on trying to change their own opinions that you know that that they you have a set uh, you have a set opinions and you argue those opinions in order to get closer to the truth because in essence or by default no one really knows the truth now that brings me to another point. Um, according to the Talmud, the reason why there was uh, why we were exiled from the land was because of baseless hatred, and uh, now we're waiting for Mashiach to come and bring us back to Israel, um, and you know, in, in the observance of Torah. Um, but the, the only thing that's hindering this is the lack of unity between Jews. Um, and not only just the lack of unity between Jews, but the lack of unity between all humans. Um, we first have to be unified with ourselves. We have to be stable, like a cell, like a stabled cell. We have to be like that. But at the same time, we also have to work with other cells at the same time. So while we're, try while we're trying to create an equilibrium within ourselves, we also have to try to create an equilibrium in the bigger picture. And I find that, that people who go out there and spread hate messages like uh, things negative about Chabad or negative about Christians or Muslims or, or, um, or atheists or anyone, I personally think this is hindering the coming of Mashiach. If you truly believe in the, in the coming of Mashiach, no matter whether you're um, a, uh, someone who, who goes to a, a, Litva, um, a Litva, um, sorry, a Litvak type shul, a Chabad shul, a Bresh lover shul, a Sephardic shul, um, a, Yemenit, a Yemenitic shul, whatever it is, I might be saying it, I might be uh, saying the words incorrectly, but you get the picture. No matter what, a Jew is a Jew, and no matter what, a human is a human. And to go out there and, and hate people, especially someone who says that they're Jewish and they're going out and spreading hate towards other Jews, you are the reason why the Mashiach is not 
it hasn't revealed himself yet. If you can just let down your hate and, and just say, okay, I don't really know the answer, but it couldn't hurt to love other people, couldn't hurt to try and work with other people rather than work against them, work with them. You know, you might not agree with them, but try to find the commonalities. You know, it might be hard, but I think it's worth a try. So, on that note, my name is Chaim Zeitz. Peace!